Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's a Sunday morning, a sleepy, sleepy Sunday morning after all of the rush of Halloween, which included one trick-or-treater who is my next door neighbor. Shout out to Bentley for coming by and <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Happy Halloween. So this morning, uh, we have a day full of doing nothing at the house, but I wanted to jump on here real quick and say hi, especially to my new subscribers. Welcome. You have arrived. <laughs> so a couple of things. One is uh, Pearl has shipped from Kimchi Chic Beauty. I will do a video as soon as that arrives this week. And I have some other stuff on the way too. ColourPop Mandalorian. I'm looking at you. And so we'll take a look at that when it arrives this week too. But today we're just going to do a full face of absolutely nothing new. I just felt like doing some stuff that I really like. Trying maybe some stuff again that I haven't tried in a while. Some relatively newish things to my collection. But just doing a face. I've primed. And now we're going to use a foundation that like I'm telling you I haven't used in forever. Y'all I did a foundation collection video. Where I showed you every foundation that I had and told you what color it was. Um, and so I am, I've got all those foundations. You can't see them. They're back there in those baskets. And I'm going through and I'm trying them out again. And if I love it and if it's still good, then I'm putting it back in my drawer. And if I don't, if it's off, if it's bad, if I don't love it, then I'm getting rid of it. So like I'm, I'm trying to, it's, Decluttering foundations for me would be very difficult to do, just like stack them up and decide. I haven't worn some of these in a long time, and I don't remember what I what I thought about it. I don't remember if I had to mix it. I don't remember the color, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to use the e.l.f. foundation that is the Acne Fighting. I don't know what the real name of it because it's nowhere on the packaging. But this is in porcelain. It's a, it's a great... It's great packaging because you get to squeeze it out. I love that. Super lightweight, little plastic squeezy bottle. That's, I remember traveling. Woo! It's not a video unless I drop something. Um, I remember traveling with this and really liking it. Uh, liking it for travel specifically. I'm going to use my little um, Ciate London. It's still a little dirty, but we're going to use it anyway. Uh, the Miss Piggy sponge. And uh, we're going to see how... Uh, how the acne foundation, it's not, it sounds terrible. I, what's the name of it? Put it down below. What's the actual name of the e.l.f. foundation that, that has salicylic acid in it? I don't know. I don't know. It's a smidge of Rooney dark, but not too bad. And my room is a little off in the lighting simply because if I film in daytime, daylight, I have a window right here, and so you'll notice that this side of my face is just a little bit brighter than the other side, uh, but we've lit, we meaning Mr. Mugwump and I, who's also the lighting director of this channel. <laughs> Bless him. Uh, he, We've attempted to light the other side of my face, but there's still, you can see there's a little bit more darkness on that side. But I think that covers pretty well. I do think it's a tad bit dark. But a, a mix of like one little tiny pump of something light or my white mixer would probably be just perfect. My face is darker than my neck anyway. So if something matches my face, it's too dark for my neck. Like that's how, that's how this goes. What do y'all think? That did nice coverage. I had a lot of redness this morning. I was sleeping hard, I think. I don't know what that was about. That's nice. I like that. Cool. Thanks, Elf. Hadn't used you in a while. Keep you around a little bit longer. Thank you. 
<sighs> do I dare use Pat again, but just a smidge? Like, y'all, I used my Pat McGrath L1 concealer, and I, sw I literally swiped. I'm an idiot. Like, that's how much you need a pat. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. This is bougie as all get out, y'all. This is like glass and gorgeous and stunning. I mean, it's it's amazing. But like, that's all you needed. Like, I, I literally went, and then we spent about 10 minutes together <laughs> trying to blend that crap out. I have a little bit of eyeshadow primer on my lids this morning. I've got the AOA Studios Clean Slate eyeshadow primer that I'm trying to pan. I have two more weeks of my project pan remaining and mama's not done with these things and I want to be. So I've got to stop playing. I've got to stop playing. <laughs> Gasurus about this. Okay, number one, that was not too much. I think that was just enough. Thank you, Miss Pat. Thank you, Mother Pat. I'm so sorry. I did you dirty the other day. All right, there we go. Cute. All right, let's use some cream stuff. Let's use some cream stuff. Let's go use the ColourPop, well, mm, sorry, Soul Body. Little cream bronzer in medium. Let's use that real quick. Um, I'll put it on with this. I, I'll use my little Elf Wonky brush. Let's use a little bit of this. So, got a ton of new bronzers because the Kimchi Chic bronzers came in. That video is also up. So, I now have a video swatching all the blushes, all the contours, all the bronzers up on my channel. And I am very well pleased with the blushes, very well pleased with the contours. Not, not well pleased right now with the bronzers. The the colors are just so similar and I just don't love the range. I did try out one of the bronzers. It's the, I went to Waikiki, which is the, the one that's the most red. It's the second, Kim, she put them in order, one to six. This is number two, I went to Waikiki is what I used on that video and I like it, that one's great. That one, if you're fair, that one will probably be the one for you, especially if you like uh, a red bronzer. So that one's nice. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Um, all right, let's do a little bit of cream blush. Let's use her. Today we are gonna, I know I, I promised to use a different shade last time. On my channel, whoa, on my channel I've used this shade and this shade. Today let's use the super bright one. Let's see, let's see how she goes. So just using a little synthetic, it's like an It Cosmetics foundation brush, kind of mini, but it's it's just about the perfect size for cream blush. Okay. I think the light is washing out the intensity of this color. Mm. Hold on. There, you can kind of see it. It's pretty bright, y'all. This color is pretty bright, this one right here. By the way, I don't know if you've been keeping up. So this is the Miss Piggy Ciate London Cream Cheek Color Palette, right? It, it seems that the eyeshadow palette will not be released in the United States. Uh, one of my subscribers, thank you so much, emailed Ciate to ask, and they actually emailed her back. On social media, they are not answering that question. I, I have never seen them answer, seen a lot of people ask about the eyeshadow palette, but they've never answered it. But apparently, uh, according to my subscriber, they actually, they responded to her and they told her that they would not release the eyeshadow palette. But this palette is out, it is now at Sephora and it's on their website. Apparently it smells like donuts. There is a slight smell, but there's no, I don't get donuts. So I'm sorry I didn't mention that in my video. I didn't even know it was supposed to smell like donuts. So yeah, this is the All About Moi. Ciate London Miss Piggy Cheek Palette. It's adorable. The packaging is perfect. It is, it's it's a great little pack. I mean, it's great. If you have medium to dark skin tone, this will not work for you. And we discuss it all in the Ciate London 
video that I did on on these palettes or on this palette and the products. Ooh, is that an, again, wouldn't be a video if I didn't knock stuff down. Okay, very cool. Okay, there's my cream products. Let's get some powdering happening. Let's use the Kimchi Chic Puff Puff Pass for under my eyes. This is the Set and Bake Powder. This is the No Color. Um, I literally get this everywhere and it is so messy for me. I'm sure someone with better aim can't do better but here we are I want to just real quick tap out any creases from the pat concealer I do not bake it looks like I'm about to but I'm really not it's just I can't this is this this puff is just too good not to use so we'll do that and then we'll brush that off real quick and then I have to show you the mess I made of my Studio Fix. I mean mess. Hang on one sec. Let me brush this off. Oop. There we go. Cute. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm trying to use up my Studio Fix NW18 powder. Y'all, I repressed it. Look, you know what this reminds me of? In the Ewok movie, when they had to like go on the, I guess, the desert because the kids were in the cage. Y'all, I haven't watched this movie since I was like six. It reminds me of that. There was like a close-up shot of the ground they were walking on, and it looks just like that. You know, the kids were in the cage, and the Ewoks had to go try to save them. Y'all remember? Stop. Close up. No? Just me? Cool. All right. It still works. It works just fine, but it just looks crazy. Like, what did I do? Somebody tell me what I, was it too much alcohol? Was it not enough alcohol? I just needed to get it in the center of the pan so I could pick it up because I was having trouble picking it up. So, yeah. All right, let's not repress this. <laughs> Here's my Beauty Benefits. It's a bronzer for me. It's a powder. I got it from the Dollar Tree. And boy, howdy, was this thing worth every penny of a dollar because I've been using it for a long time and I've been using it for the last three months as my exclusive bronzer, unless I'm making a bronzer video. And I can't, I mean, I'm just slowly getting there for panning it, but man, I was foolish to think I could pan this in three months. It's beautiful, but it's pigmented. Therefore, I don't use a ton. I will blend, hold on. And then we're gonna use, did I close it? Oh, I'm an idiot. Y'all, these ColourPop blushes, once they close, it's really hard to get them open. This is the Wayfarer blush. This was the, the little succulent collection or whatever that was called. Don't really know. But this one, I, I really liked it. It's peachy and I thought it would go well over the Miss Piggy blush. We'll use our Alamar little new cheek set that we got for the boxy pop-up. And we'll put some of that on. We're getting a we're getting a bold look today on our face. I know you can't tell because of the lights, but Boy, how do you, did I just like, what, like, why is this so hard to close? And I just, if I close it all the way, I have a hard time opening it. Am I old? Is that what it is? Or do other people have, uh, do other people have problems with these blushes, these packaging? I have a hard time with that one. Some of the new, the MAC Mineralized blushes that I have a hard time with that packaging too. I don't know why, but it's a little tough. All right, let's blend it out. Let's blend it out. Looking good. Okay, let's do a highlighter. Do I have one that I want to use here? Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I went ahead and I depotted. I, I went ahead and depotted the Makeup Revolution Nightmare Before Christmas. I couldn't, y'all. I could not with that, that big old giant bulky package. So I went ahead and did two things. Um, I depotted that one and then I also depotted the Flutterby shadows from ColourPop that I just hauled like Friday night. They're magnetic so you take a magnet and you you pop it over the shadow and it will come out. Glitter no didn't keep that but kept all the other ones. So I pulled out a Z palette that was these Z palettes are older than sin. You can tell they're disgusting. I'm so sorry. So girls. Um these are a couple of M Cosmetics blushes. These came from like I think a cover girl something forever ago I've got just I think this is an urban decay single that came in something I've just got some random stuff but I went ahead and popped that those two 
uh, products into this one, shut up, this one Z palette. And uh, I'll try to get some use out of it. I know it's crazy. I will blend, I will blend, I will blend. I promise I will blend. This Makeup Revolution highlighter is beautiful, but that packaging, I mean, it's just this giant box. Like nobody wants that. Nobody. So we will, we will get a lot more use out of that highlighter if it's in a Z palette. I just can't. I cannot. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's spray and then we'll do all the rest. All right, so, oh my gosh, that's three things. The polter goose has had a bad Halloween, didn't get all the candy that it wanted. I apologize. I promise I'm not this klutzy in real life. <laughs> you make me nervous. Okay. So today's Sunday, the 1st of November. That means Tuesday is the 3rd of November. Have you voted? What is your voting plan if you're in America? Early voting is now closed in my state, but I believe that on Monday you can still drop off your ballot in person and the address to do so is on the ballot if you got a, if you got a, like a not in person ballot. Well, I don't know what that's called. It's not absentee because you're not absent, but you know what I'm saying. So what's your voting plan? I'm going to need you to go ahead and plan it out because I'm going to need you to vote. I'm going to need everybody to vote because you need to. Everybody needs to vote. Okay, so I watched Michaela, you know, the YouTube Michaela from Massachusetts with the most amazing accent known to man. She's so precious. I love her. And her makeup looks are unbelievable. She did her TikTok of how she does her brows. And she draws, you know, one line all the way across underneath. And then she does straight up. And then she, she does have a, like a marker, which I don't have a marker. But since seeing her do that, I've been... Just the way that I've been filling in my brows has been has been a little bit different. Just considering the way that she does hers. Which is why, I mean, I love watching someone else do their makeup. Because everybody does something differently. And you can learn new techniques or you can try, experiment. We get stuck in a rut. We think this is the way that you have to do this. Or this is the only way I know to do this. And... Sometimes there are other ways and we just don't know about them. We just don't consider it. And I'm telling you, it makes me happy to try out new things. So I'm hopeful that that's what we're doing here together. You and me is trying out new things together because I love that. I love it so much. Okay, so let's see. My lips are dry. I'm gonna use my, my NYX This Is Everything oil. I've been using that since I got it. This summer in the Secret Ulta sale. And I love it. It's I'm, I'm almost out. This is just the sheer. It's just totally colorless. But I love it so much because it's beautiful. Okay, so I've got my face on. It looks pretty good. It looks good. Let's, I think I want to do, I think I want to do this. I'm pretty sure. I haven't used... The hoodie, hoodie, what in the hoodie in the hoodie beauty in the blowfish? <laughs> hoodie, I'm sorry. Hoodie, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I think I want to use this today. I'm just feeling pastel. I'm just feeling colorful. And so let's go for it. I'm going to quickly tap out any creases that I have. And I'm going to use the cream shade right there. Just real quick. Set all over. Okay. I was thinking to do a lavender eye today. That's what I was. Sorry about the reflection. 
um, I was thinking to do a lavender eye just because it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. So let's, let's do it. All right, we'll take Libra, which is the matte lavender shade. I mean, it's just like, come on. It's springtime and beautiful, but I like, I mean, this also can be winter. Like, I don't know about you, but I like, you know, the, the, the kind of winter, what I mean, like the snowflake and the, you know, the, the lavender and the pink and the light blue, like the winter color palette. And, you know, a really a poppy red lip kind of thing. Like that, that's beautiful to me. I love Christmas holiday decorations that are not just red, green, gold, silver that are unconventional. So I have, you know, always loved people who have like a pink tree, you know what I'm saying? Like those kind of things. I like that winter kind of snowy stuff. So I've got two colors here. I think I want, I think I want nebula on the lid, but I also kind of want to use ultraviolet. Let's put ultraviolet in the crease. It's a shimmer, but let's do it anyway, because I have nowhere to go today. Will it pick up on the brush? No. Okay, it will pick up on my finger. So let's actually just do it on the outer corner over here. It doesn't want to go into the, on the brush that I have. I'm sure I could go pull another brush, but we'll put it on the outer corner over there with our finger. have this palette this one this one was I only have a few Huda palettes I don't have them all she is not one that I want to collect all of the things that's not my my bag with her okay and now we're going to do the nebula which is gritty but beautiful yep that's the look I wanted today just unicorn stunning yep yep but this palette from Huda, I, I really, I thought it was unique. And I think that it still is unique because of the color story. I'm very drawn to it. Also, I honestly think that her packaging of this palette with the, the lavender acrylic, I think it helps immensely with how this looks. If this was in a black, you know, a matte black palette, I think this would have come off very differently. And so... Sorry, I'm just piling it on because why not? It's Sunday. I'm gonna go downstairs to eat my breakfast. My husband's be like, what kind of what kind of thing are we doing here? All right, I need a little bit more of the lilac because I've made choices. <laughs> yeah. We'll punch that up some. Yes. See how pretty. Yes. Yes. Okay, love it. There is a there is a, a lining shade in here for me. It's a dark purple. Um, it's it vortex is beautiful as a liner. There's just so many really pretty colors in here. I mean, so let's try. I'm gonna try to pick up on a brush, the shade Supermoon. This one to see if I can get it in my inner corner. That worked. Yep, it's picking up. Let's just, let's just go for it. Yes. See that? Lovely. I mean, it's just a good, it's a good palette, y'all. It really is. And I, I mean, VIB whatever from Sephora is coming up or it's on now for Rouge. But if you're VIB or Beauty Insider, you get a percentage off. This one's a good one. It's expensive. But honestly, I think it, I, I think it's worth, this one I think is worth it. Um, none of my other hoodie palettes that I own, and I think I own Desert Dusk and some of the small nine pans, they're okay. They're not spectacular. This one is spectacular to me. I think it is stunning. I also think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use the silver side of my Laura Geller Define, Line and Define. I usually use the the liquid liner, but I think I'm going to try to do like the cold 
Can I get it started maybe? Let's start it on my hand. Get her warmed up. Is that showing up? I don't know. It kind of is. I need to clean up a bit on this eye. That didn't do what I wanted it to do, which was be a bright silver liner. Maybe we need a white. ColourPop BFF Creme Gel Liner in Exit. And then can we maybe, maybe put the silver over it? Maybe. It'll do. That's not, this didn't do what I wanted it to do, but that's okay. I do have a white little tiny wing and I think that's fun. ColourPop come through all the time. Love them so much. Love them so much. All right, let's curl and lash and then we'll do a finishing powder maybe i'll think about it i'm gonna think about it oh. so um all of my subscribers that have been here from like a while back we've been together for a little while this channel has been organically growing there's been no promotion it's just me making the videos that i want to make and the folks, y'all just finding me. And you are my people. Those of you who are subscribing as you find me, you we're it's okay. We're, we're supposed to be together. This is fate. And I just want to say thank you because we are at the threshold of 200 subscribers. And it was you know, a month ago that I was at 100 subscribers. For someone who is middle-aged, having the appearance that I do, liking the things that I like, using the products that I use. It, you know, I am just thrilled that we are organically growing this family because this is just a place of hobby, makeup. We like trying things. We like talking about makeup and watching people talk about makeup or watching people apply makeup. And I'm just, this is exactly what I wanted to happen, which was folks to find me who are like me and who, this is, this is not about any kind of production. This is not a production. This is me on my iPhone and just enjoying chatting about makeup. Look, I've I've just met some of the coolest people down in the comments and I appreciate y'all. I'll also say that I got a um like a private mailbox so that if you want to write me a letter, <laughs> send me a Christmas card. You can. I would love to do that. I'm someone who really enjoys snail mail. So if that's something that you get down with, or, you know, our, our things may overlap. There's a Venn diagram of hobbies that I have in my life. Uh, one of the things that I love doing is writing to people. So if you enjoy that too, shoot me a letter and I'll be happy to write you back because I like that. Stationery? Oh, don't get me started. Oh my God. How much washi tape do you have? Because I have a lot. I have a lot. Okay. I love, I'm in love with this eye. I the white and silver liner could have been a better execution, but I don't mind it at this point. I just love the glitter and the glory and the fabulousness. Let's do a quick fix, mm, fixing. Let's do a, a quick finishing powder. We'll use the Laura Geller Universal um, 
setting powder thing. It's just a quick, it's like a mosaic of pastel colors that just does a good job of setting everything and blending everything one last time. I like that. All right, lips. Lips. Um, I'm tempted to just do my regular nude, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in a color I can't find. <sighs> maybe, maybe it had a thing on it at one time, but it's this color. And I think it's really pretty. I don't wear pinks a ton. Um, I'll wear a mauve or a grayish before I wear a pink, but this one's pretty. These Luxe Glosses are really nice. I have to smell it. It's not an offensive smell. See? They're just pretty. It's not nothing to write home about. I mean, I wouldn't like go buy a set, but when they come in a set, like if I'm getting a bundle or something and it comes in that set, I'm happy for that. What do y'all think? Do we like my pastel glory? I look today, I do. I think it's nice. I like it a lot. The inner corner is just boom. So thanks. Thanks for hanging out. This is a cool palette. Pull it out if you haven't recently. I know a lot of us, you know, we'll move things in seasonally for, for color, seasonally color things. And right now we're in the burgundies and the mustards and the olives. And I get you. I feel you, boo. I am too. I have a lot. I have a lot of that. And I do a lot of that. But if you are looking for a change, you just want to switch it up. It's a Sunday morning and you're not going anywhere. Go ahead. Get out your lavender glitter, girl. Go on, y'all. Get out your stuff. Um, thank you so much for joining me and getting ready with me this morning. I appreciate your company and I appreciate your comments. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my channel when you do that. If you have not subscribed and you want to see some more of my videos, click that subscribe button. It's totally free. And then all of my videos come into your subscription feed onto YouTube and you won't miss any. Um, I love you all so much. Thanks so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.